Hi, my name is AK and here I am with Chris. Today, we're going to answer some questions that is most commonly asked to us as cryptocurrency trainers. Okay, I've got it. Yep, you? I'm good. Yeah, so this is our percentage. This is my percentage. Yeah. So in case you guys uh, can't see too clearly, uh, right, mine is 10% is in Rune, R-U-N-E, or Tor Chain. 8% in Bitcoin and 9% in Ethereum. What's your right. So mine, I have 20% in Bitcoin, 20% in Ethereum, and more recently, this coin just went up like a few hundred times for me. So it's 40% right now for my entire portfolio. Yeah. So as you see here, right, usually we will recommend Bitcoin and Ethereum as one of our highest holdings. But because of the nature of altcoins and it multiplied, so fast in a short period of time. This altcoin actually outperformed what Bitcoin and Ethereum could provide me in the last two to three months in a way. So literally right now, RAP is now sitting at one of my biggest holdings and it actually have uh, overtaken Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Yeah, so like what I can say, same thing for me. Usually I, I look at a lot more in terms of my, well, whether monthly investment or whatever money I, I put into crypto. Uh, typically, in the early days, I put a lot in Bitcoin and Ethereum yep. uh, and smaller portions in altcoins. But when altcoins rise, they usually rise very quickly and very violently. <laughs> so sometimes you get these situations where even though you put in, say, $1,000 in Bitcoin and you put in $50 in an altcoin, but the altcoin grows so fast that it overtakes your your allocation uh, in terms of BTC or ETH. So for us, that's basically uh, what has happened. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so how actually uh, do we choose our altcoins? Now, before we go on, if you like our sharing so far, uh, just remember to go down to the like button and to click on that as well as to add some comments. So if you have some altcoins that you really like, post it below, let us know as well. We are always uh, interested and excited to hear what our viewers have to say. Now, in terms of our altcoin selection, I think rather than to go in and say, hey, these are one, two, three, four, five, six steps that you need to do, uh, bearing in mind that if you watch this video, a majority of you might be still pretty new to crypto. I think rather than to say, how do I choose an altcoins? You need to get your fundamentals down. Meaning, you need to first, number one, think about how do you want to allocate your assets? How do you want to allocate your portfolio to crypto? How do you manage risk? Then from there, you want to have a good understanding of how the cryptocurrency even come about. How does blockchain technology works? What is the story about Bitcoin and Ethereum? Uh, and then from there, as you build up, your knowledge, you add what I call layers of expertise. And if you try to go too fast ahead, meaning to say I have guys who come to me and say, uh, you know, I don't know how the blockchain works, but can you teach me how to do something like liquidity mining? They are jumping ahead, yep. right? You need to get your foundations right first. And from there, as you begin to uh, get rooted in some good practices, you will have kind of like an inclination or you have certain preference depending on who you learn from on what are the criteria that you want to look out for in terms of altcoins. So I would say, right, before you learn what is, you know, something like what E equals to MC square, before you go there, <laughs> perhaps you need to know what is one plus one first and you build up your knowledge from there. Yeah. All right. Right, so we want to find out, or rather the question posed is, what's the difference between me and AK in terms of investment style? Uh, the question is broad, meaning to say investment style in terms of our overall portfolio, or are we talking about specifically at crypto? Uh, in, the, in this video, right, let's zoom in straight into what's the difference in terms of our cryptocurrency investing preference. Some difference would be like AK likes Cardano, I don't really do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So maybe uh, I'll let you start, it, start off first. How would you describe yourself in terms of investment style and how do you think that it differs from me? Um, generally, I'm not that um, high risk taker. I'm more of a hodler in a way. So usually when I research into coins, I'll actually go really deep into it. I'll find out who are the holders. 
uh, what does the coin actually does and I would like to always compare with his uh, competitors in the same category so I was always looking at the sense that so now, now this uh, coin is at the highest cap so why am I choosing someone is a lower one or let's say if this is a very new coin or new technology that's coming up in the cryptocurrency what has it that is trying to solve than the rest of the other coins that are not available out there and not only that, I'm also definitely more towards the Binance side of, of things so I'm more towards the Binance Smart Chain, uh, Binance platform itself so I'm more towards that side Right, so for those of you who have no idea what that is <laughs> uh, basically Binance Smart Chain is, you can kind of think of it like a, a platform right, so you can kind of think of Binance like a country you know, like maybe AK <laughs> is more focused on China stocks so Binance Smart Chain is like that category for myself, I prefer Ethereum because I am one of the uh, one of the earlier investors. So I do a lot of Ethereum investing. I like yield farming, which is passive income. So right now, a lot of uh, what I do in terms of crypto investing is that I basically go and look for new coins that are going to come out that is going to be released right mm. through this process called yield farming, and I obtain it that way. Right, so both of us, we are hodlers or we are long-term Correct. investors, we don't day trade. We're not so worried even if Bitcoin goes from 60k to 30k where yep. lots of people <laughs> panic and change their stance. We're just like permanent bullish almost on the long-term, long-term. Uh, just that within the space, it just kind of changes a little bit. So right now, uh, this is 2021, in case you're right. watching this a little bit later. Uh, NFTs are actually gaining steam so that's what we are looking at as well uh, in terms of investment style aside from the fact that AK does a lot more Binance Smart Chain I do a lot more uh, Ethereum uh, we are actually not too different right we're actually not too different in a sense that we like to look into the projects a little bit more uh, but I think I'm a little bit lazier than AK <laughs> I think he puts in a little bit more effort so for me I'm someone who like to trade time for money so I basically just subscribe to a lot of institutional reports and I get someone to summarize it for me and I form a narrative around uh, what what these mm. guys are doing then right now as of current moment because the portfolio is big uh, my portfolio is pretty big the passive income portion that's coming in is high right I, I'm more of a crypto passive income guy rather than to go out there and look for the gems and try this try this try this so I basically allow that to grow and I use the passive income to kind of uh, allocate and seek out all these new coins, right? So, so in terms of early days though, right, before we hit this portfolio, yep. how do you normally do it? Usually what we do is we allocate a sum of money or uh, excess cash as we call it and we do DCA method in a way. So we build up our portfolio kind of like buying off the big cap ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum and myself. One of my favorite uh, altcoin is Binance coin itself. So I started buying off when it was very low and right now they are pushing up based on two, uh, based on this video's pricing. I think they're pushing up close to $500. My initial purchase of, Bit of Binance coin was about $5 each. So I hit that 100x, you know, it's a lifetime achievement for me when you hit a certain amount then. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, what about you guys? Uh, why don't you share with us what your investment style is? Type in the comment below and we'd love to read about it. Yep. Right? Right. So we hope that this has been helpful. Um, and you know, we are glad that you took time to listen to our video. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys around. Bye. Right. Take care, bye.